According to a report from the Jerusalem Post, a cure for cancer is around the corner and will be presented with what they've said would be within a year's time. And, you know, this isn't just a uh, specific cure for cancer. It's generic because uh, they've indicated that it can, it can cure almost all cancers, or at least it's been successful against all the cancers they've tested. And this is what the article says. A small team of Israeli scientists think they might have found the first complete cure for cancer. We believe we will offer in a year's time a complete cure for cancer, said Dan uh, Arador, uh, of a new treatment being developed by his company, Accelerate Evolution Biotechnologies, LTD, which was founded in 2000 in the iTech incubator in the uh, Wiseman Science Park. AEBI developed the SOAP platform, uh, which provides functional leads to very difficult targets. Our cancer cure will be effective from day one, uh, will last a duration of a, of a few weeks, and will have no or minimal side effects at a much lower cost than most other treatments on the market, a writer said. Uh, our solution will be both generic and personal. It sounds fantastical, but especially considering that an estimated 18.1 million new cancer cases are diagnosed worldwide every year, uh, according to reports by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Further, every sixth death in the world is due to cancer, making it the second leading cause of death, second only to cardiovascular disease. A writer, the company's chairman of the board, says their treatment, which uh, they call Mutatu, a uh, multi-target toxin is essentially on the scale of a cancer antibiotic, a uh, disruption technology of the highest order. The potentially game-changing anti-cancer drug is based on SOAP technology, which belongs to the phage display group of technologies. And I may be mispronouncing some of these technologies, but uh, those in that field can correct me later on. It says it involves the uh, introduction of DNA coding for a protein such as an antibiotic into a bacteri bacterial phage, a virus that affects bacteria. The protein is then displayed on the surface of the phage. Uh, researchers can use these protein displaying phages to uh, screen for interactions with other proteins, uh, DNA sequences, and small um, um, molecules. In 2018, a team of scientists won the Nobel Prize for their work on phages display uh, in the directed evolution of new proteins, in particular for the production of antibody therapeutics. AEBI is doing something similar but with peptides, compounds of two or more amino acids linked in a chain. According to a company representative, peptides have several advantages over antibodies, including that they are smaller, cheaper, and easier to produce and regulate. To get started, the company representative said that they had to first identify whether why other cancer-killing drugs and treatments don't work or eventually fail. Then they found a way to counter that effect. And you know, then the article goes on and talks about why most of the other cancer age, uh, uh, therapies simply didn't work and why theirs is reversing that trend. But it says in contrast, uh, their Technology is using a combination of several cancer-targeting peptides for each cancer cell at the same time combined with a strong peptide toxin that would kill cancer cells specifically. But using at least three targeting peptides on the same structure with a strong toxin, uh, the CEO said, we made sure that the uh, treatment will, th will not be affected by mutations. Cancer cells can mutate in such a way that targeted receptors are dropped by the cancer. And that's probably a reason why the others have failed because they are targeting a certain cancer that mutates into another. And here's their answer to that. It says the probability of having multiple mutations that would modify all targeted receptors, uh, receptors simultaneously decreases dramatically with the number of targets used. Instead of attacking receptors, one at a time, we attack receptors three at a time. Not even cancer can uh, mutate three receptors at the same time. Furthermore, many cancer cells activate detoxification mechanisms when in stress from uh, drugs. 
the cells pump out the drugs or modify them to be non-functional. But Morad said uh, de detoxification uh, takes time, and now that's the company's CEO. When the toxin is strong, it has a high probability of killing the cancer cell before detoxification occurs, which is what he is banking on. Many cystotoxic anti-cancer treatments aim at fast-growing cells, but cancer stem cells are not fast-growing. They can escape these treatments. Then, when the treatment is over, they can generate cancer again. If it does not completely annihilate the cancer, the remaining cells can start to get mutations again, and then the cancer comes back. But this time, it is drug-resistant. He explained that because cancer cells are born out of mutations that occur in cancer stem cells, most of the overexpressed proteins uh, which are targeted on the cancer cell exist in the cancer stem cells. Mutato's uh, multiply, a multiple target attack ensures that they will be destroyed as well. And finally, some cancer tumors erect shields which create access problems. Uh, to large molecules such as antibodies. Mutato acts like an octopus or a piece of spaghetti and can sneak into, into places where other large molecules cannot reach. I explained that the peptide parts of Mutato are very small and lack a rigid structure. This would make the whole molecule non-immunogenic. Uh, in most cases and would enable repeated administration of the drug, he said, which evidently is a major advantage of their drug over others. And they also indicated that uh, their drugs also reduce the sickening side effects of most cancer treatments. Reading further in the article, it indicates that uh, at some point in time, they expect each cancer treatment to be personalized to whatever cancer a person may have. Now, early on in the article, it said that they would... Uh, be looking at a cure within a year or so's time. But toward the end, it says that uh, Morad, which is the CEO, said so far that uh, the company has concluded its first exploratory mice experiment, which inhibited human cancer cell growth and had no effect at all on healthy uh, mice cells, in addition to several in vitro trials. AEBI is on the cusp of beginning a round of clinical trials, which could be completed within a few years and would make the treatment available in specific cases. So if you want to look, take a look at this article, it's uh, found in the Jerusalem Post. I'll, I'll put a uh, link to the article in the description uh, spot down below the, the, this video. Well, there's one thing for sure. Israel has come up with a number of technological and medical advances that have proven to be accurate. So it would not shock me at all if in a few years that they did announce that they had a foolproof cancer discovery that would cure cancer without side effects. And uh, the way they were talking would be nothing more than taking a simple cocktail of uh, drugs and in a matter of weeks that uh, you'd be cured. Or at least that they would be able to manage it. But I thought I'd bring that to you to uh, let you go ahead and, and look this article over and maybe do a little research on your own. But this seems to be a major breakthrough in cancer research. And as always, if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. You know, I always like to present the gospel every time I present a video. Because I know that people, there's 150,000 people that are going to die today. And you know, the Bible says that the vast majority of them are going to end up in a burning hell. Don't let that happen to you. Come to the Lord today. Ask Him to save you. Believe that He died on the cross for your sins. Repent of your sins. And from this day forward, live for Him. And certainly, if you want to get a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide, go down to the description section of this video, and you'll also see that link. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.